Hello, and I hope you're having a spooky day. <laughs> That's so overdramatic, I'm sorry. Happy Halloween everyone! So today we are doing what I would consider to be a horrifyingly bad house in the terms of kind of how I've decorated and sort of the idea behind the house was that the family originally started off with the sort of square base like a one story just basically square box and sort of decided that each time they got either a new family member or they needed more space they kind of tacked on different parts of the build each time it having a different roofs color and a different window styles and sort of one bits being more modern than others and sort of to me these well how i've styled it inside because everyone has different tastes so some someone might not think that this build is horrifyingly bad but we all have different opinions and that's a good thing but i tried to make the inside very kind of very different each room has sort of like an eclectic mix of different furniture just like the outside where i'm using different windows on each part and sort of kind of thinking that the family sort of random like saw of a bit of furniture and thought oh you know what that will we need something like that we need a new table or we need a new chair so they just randomly bought it and thought that that would go together so we are just doing all the different wallpapers so each room has a different wallpaper on the outside as well to add to the aesthetic of kind of it all being sort of mashed together sort of styling it off sort of a it would be in the country and sort of trying to use autumn -y themed things because it is after all halloween today i do love halloween i think halloween and christmas are probably my favorite sort of holidays i love a good ghost story and like watching really bad but ghost adventures on the tv because <laughs> they're just hilarious and i like the fact that no one can prove that these things that either happen or don't happen actually happen or don't happen so <laughs> i like the ambiguity of whether there are actually things out there that we don't know and things that happen that we can't explain because that's the sort of things that i like and that's why i like black holes <laughs> so in this build i've used custom content sort of i think it was a pumpkin pack yeah i got a tumbler and sort of that gave me the the different pumpkins some hay bales and sort of a rusty sort of cart so i kind of wanted to obviously keep it in the the halloweeny theme a bit and afterwards after i'd actually built the thing i actually wanted to include a graveyard that, which you'll see in the screenshots but it's not actually in this build so we're now finally getting on to the inside so each room has i got to use a lot of like the cracked flooring that we got in city living and also those dirty carpets and sort of tried to pick out what i consider to be one of the all the most horrific wallpapers in the game that i never get to use so i actually really enjoyed making this build because it's a style and a way of building that i don't actually ever do in the game because i normally i always have an idea which was why this build actually took me so much longer than it normally does and sort of just kind of trying to work out what i was doing sort of how they would carve up the rooms how would they lay things out how would they like try and smush in a little bathroom upstairs even though there's really not enough space for a bathroom upstairs and even like the fact that i mucked up the the railing on the staircase for it being on the outside rather than on the inside but i think that's the type of people this this house is made for really so yeah we're just going around picking some atrocious atrocious carpets and atrocious beautiful designs and we're going to start off with the kitchen so i use the really distressed counters and it's 
very beige again. I have a theme now. I think I keep doing beige kitchens. <laughs> There's only a beige kitchen for the Hampstead house. I think I need to, I need to inject some more colour into my kitchens. But I kind of try to fill it up as though there's not no workspace for your sims to do any cooking on it so i don't know you'll probably if you wanted to download this to build then you'd probably have to add in somewhere for them to actually be able to cook and it's sort of kind of like they've just thrown in the cooker in the corner because they were like oh we don't we can't either afford or we can't find any more sort of work surface space so we'll just have to put the cooker over there and trying to put in as much sort of clutter items that I could find as well and using using lots of lots of items that I don't actually get to use got to use the sofas that you unlock at the flea market from city living as well in the living room and yeah I've had a quite on the theme of horrifyingly bad i have had a horrifyingly bad three days out of this last week and a bit so i i was supposed to start a new job and 14 hours before i was supposed to start apparently they'd find someone else i was just like what the fuck <laughs> you can't do that so i am waiting to hear back from them and if not <laughs> that things will get interesting I think and then talking of concepts and ideas the two people from my old course decided to use my concept for their upcoming exhibition that we'd already used and rehash it and claim it as their own again so I have had a, a wonderful few days but everything was made up yesterday by going to see Thor Ragnarok which I will be doing a review slash build that's very strange you could say in, on Thursday and um, it's gonna be very funny because I've challenged myself to do something in that video which will be very horrific for anyone listening to it but hilarious and I want to I want to see how long I can last doing it. So in this build I also tried to get the lighting to be as bad as possible as well. So I'm kind of using, in the living room there's like just lamp light and I think the dining room is the most lit place because I used some, some of the free sort of wall lights, no ceiling lights that that came with the game that sort of fitted in with the theme. So you can see in the dining room I kind of did the idea that each time they had a new family member they sort of bought a new table or if they're having guest rounds they were like oh you know what we need to we need to get another table but none of them match none of the chairs go they've got that strange rainbow door on the other side which i thought was quite funny <laughs> i was just like you know what this house needs needs a lovely random door and some beautiful matching patterned purple curtains that really add add to the aesthetic of that room so when I was doing this room, I kind of forgot that I wanted wanted a door to this building. And I thought it was kind of a happy accident that I'd put a sofa in where I actually wanted to have it attached to the house. So I was like, you know what, this family would would be the type of family that would put the toilet access outside the house. So you had to go outside and then go into the bathroom. Like they designed it to be a different type of room, I think. That it was more supposed to be like, oh, this is our hobby room. But it was like, oh no, we we've only got one bathroom and it's tiny and upstairs. We need another one. So you know what? We've got this extra room. We'll just turn that into a bathroom, even though it's highly inconvenient and has two massive, fully glassed windows at the end. <laughs> and this is the little study nook area that has the staircase in. It kind of. I had to squeeze in all the little it different items in here and sort of use the dance floor sort of cardboard to add a little rug in here because it's I put the like stone uh, tiled floor so I thought they'd want to put something down and they thought that they'd have quite a lot of cardboard boxes left over from from all the other stuff and sort of they'd flatten them down and sort of put them on the floor so they didn't get cold when they were in that room and I can use the the bay windows from get together to kind of 
make that whole end sort of a connected room and then we're finally getting up to the upstairs I like, love that new Diwali rug that we got in the free update for the holiday pack some of the stuff in there was really really nice and it's nice to see some diversity more diversity in the pack and yeah some good lights and stuff in that pack so this room is the I think a more teenage room I kind of do a teen sort of generic adulty person room a kids room and then more of where the parents would be so very green theme in this room and it's only lit by candlelight as well <laughs> so <laughs> that one has no lighting in it and this one's the kids room and sort of because I didn't put any walls against where the where the roofing joined it kind of added to that whole aesthetic of like they they come decorate over that part of the wall so you just get that random bit of the outside coming into the inside and sort of with the kids room I thought that they would kind of sort of let him do or them do whatever they wanted on the walls so we've got a lot of the wall graphics and sort of trying to squeeze everything in. I think the this room is probably my favourite room for how really drab it is especially with that wallpaper i don't know why they added that wallpaper in in the first place and using the, like the shabby bed that kind of matches with the floor but doesn't really match with anything else because you've got that clash of patterns on the bed cover on the duvet cover and sort of kind of a beautiful mishmash of really random colors and and that porthole window I really wanted to add the porthole window into this build because this, this family would have a porthole window it's kind of a sort of Weasley-esque sort of build but not on that sca their scale of having like loads and loads of floors and then this is the like micro bathroom that's upstairs and using I've managed to squeeze in the the parenthood shower in there so there's at least a bath and a shower upstairs and then for the outside I wanted it extremely overgrown they've got uh, just working on a pond area so it's gone really like full of algae it's completely disgusting it's like they've not maintained it whatsoever so everything's really like all the plants and it's got loads of rocks in it I quite liked adding the rocks in. I thought it gave it quite, quite an organic theme, and sort of trying to add in sort of more of the more unkept plants and sort of adding trees that were a lot larger than I'd normally use for a build. And we've got a sort of small seating area at the back. It's kind of they they don't really do a lot of gardening. I don't think this family would and the sort of they had good intentions so i thought that they'd they would have bought all the things that you could use for planters and they planted the plants but kind of just gone no nah, they, they don't need looking after we'll just we'll just leave them to do do whatever and sort of this is the inspiration for this part of the garden so it's just like everything's overgrown it's kind of spreading into the rest of the garden they've, they've not bothered to keep any of it contained within the plant as itself and i i really like to use this aesthetic a bit more but try and keep it a bit more a bit more controlled than i have done in this one because i think it it really adds something like I don't know what it is but it just adds a bit more realism and I did do a lot of train painting for this build and making it like they're just trampled like everything was trampled over they did have paving stones in the back but it's kind of you know the moss has grown through they've never decided to like use weed killer and kill off the like little bits that grow in between and sort of just using the whole aesthetic of the inside but using it for the outside and then I went round and placed all a load of pumpkins because I do really like those pumpkins even though they are custom content and I don't have the spooky pack so I thought I wanted to 
relate this build in some way to Halloween, obviously. <laughs> and yeah, we just and I think yeah, threw in some random chairs that are supposed to be on the inside, like they've kept them they didn't have enough space inside so they were like you know what we'll just use those as outside chairs but you can imagine that they were like sopping wet if it got wet because they're made of fabric so you'd never want to sit in them and they're probably like full of mold and I did forget about a lot of the outdoor like items and they were adding like a massive chimney on the side that used maybe used to be part of the old building and sort of adding roof roof windows and we could add s some more chimneys about even though they've only got one fireplace I feel like this house would have had a few more fireplaces and then someone's coming in and we're like no it's not safe for you to have a f that many fireplaces with this many objects inside and they've kind of had to take them down or something like that and um, adding in the overgrown window boxes I love how it draped over the little awning we've got and then these are the screenshots so I hope you enjoyed and if you'd like to see any more builds feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!